Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn applications of addition and subtraction, which is profit and loss in class 5. We know that addition and subtraction are mathematical operations on numbers. Dear viewers, this is my 100th video in my channel. I am thankful to each one of you who have subscribed to my channel. If you are here for the first time, please do visit my channel homepage where I have videos related to place value concepts and number concepts for class 1 to 5, all videos related to addition and subtraction from class 1 to 5 is there in my channel homepage. In my upcoming videos, I will be handling shapes and patterns, time, money, measurements and data handling for class 1 to 5. Let us go into the details of this video now. The important terms that you will be learning with respect to profit and loss are cost price, selling price, profit, loss and overheads. First let us understand what do we mean by cost price and selling price. Cost price, the amount paid to purchase an article or the price at which an article is made is called as a cost price. Selling price. The price at which an article is sold is called as its selling price. Next let us see what do we know about profit and loss. Now that we have learnt what do we mean by cost price and selling price, we will learn what is profit and loss. Profit. When the selling price is greater than the cost price, there is profit. That is the condition is SP means selling price is greater than CP cross price. We will have profit in that transaction. So the formula for finding out a profit is selling price minus cost price. SP minus CP. Loss. When the cost price is greater than the selling price, there is a loss in the transaction. What is the condition for loss? Cost price will be greater than selling price, then the transaction is at loss. The formula to find out loss is cost price minus selling price. Dear viewers, remember these two formulas very well because the remaining formulas that we will be learning in this session will be based on these two formulas. Let us do some sums now. Raja bought a box of mangoes at Rs. 350 per box. He sold the mangoes at Rs. 400 per box. Find his profit or loss per box. First, let us write down the statements. Cost price for a box of mangoes is equal to Rs. 350. Selling price for a box of mangoes is equal to rupees 400. So from this we can see that selling price is greater than the cost price. In such cases, the transaction results in profit. And what is the formula to find out profit? Selling price SP minus CP which is the cost price. Let us write down the numbers to find out the profit now. Profit is equal to 400 minus Rs. 350 which will give you the answer. Let us see. Write down the place values and subtract 400 minus 350. Once place will be 0. In tens place 0 minus 5. You cannot do that. Borrow from hundreds place. You will get 10 tens. 10 minus 5 is 5 and 3 minus 3 in the hundreds place is 0. So the difference that you get is 50 rupees. So Raja made a profit of rupees 50 on each box. Let us do the next sum. Kiran bought a math book for rupees 280. He accidentally poured water on it. So he sold the book for rupees 220. Find his profit or loss. Write down the statements. Cost price of the math book is equal to rupees 280. Selling price of the math book is equal to rupees 220. In this case, cost price is greater than the selling price. In such cases, 
the transaction results in a loss. What is the formula to find out loss? Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. So loss is equal to rupees 280 minus rupees 220. Let us subtract. 1's place is 0, 10's place is 6, 100's place is 0. So the difference that you get is rupees 60. Therefore, Kiran incurred a loss of rupees 60 in this sum. Next, let us learn what do we mean by overheads. Additional expenses are called overheads or overhead costs. Example, transport cost and repair cost are considered as overheads or overhead costs. Suppose you buy a table for rupees 900. You pay rupees 100 to a truck diver for bringing the table home. Here rupees 100 is the transport cost or the overhead cost. Overheads are added to the cost price to get the total cost price. So the formula is total cost price is equal to cost price plus overheads. Let us do some sums with overheads now. Sonia bought an old bicycle for Rs. 360. She spent Rs. 150 in getting it repaired. She later sold the bicycle for Rs. 700. Find her profit or loss. Let us write down the statements. Cost price of the bicycle is equal to Rs. 360. Overhead cost, that is the cost that she spent to repair is, is Rs. 150. So what is the total cost price? Cost price plus overheads. That is nothing but 360 plus 150 which will give you the total cost price. When you add 360 plus 150 you will get 0 in 1's place, 11 in the 10's place and in 100's place you will get 1 which is carried over to 100's place is added to 3 plus 1 you will get 5. So the total is 510. So the total cost price now is rupees 510. Selling price of the bicycle is rupees 700. So in this case, selling price is greater than the total cost price. In such cases, we will have a profit. And the formula to find profit is SP minus CP. So profit is equal to 700 minus 510. What is the answer? 0 in one's place, borrow from 100's place, 10 tens, 10 minus 1 is 9, and 1 in the 100's place. So the difference is rupees 190. So what is the profit Sonia made? Sonia made a profit of rupees 190. Let us take the next example. Alex bought a table for rupees 900. He paid rupees 100 to a truck driver for bringing the table home. He sold the table to his friend for rupees 880. Find his profit or loss. Write down the statements. Cost price of the table is equal to rupees 900. Overhead cost is equal to rupees 100. Total cost price is CP plus overheads. So 900 plus 100 will give you the total cost price. What is 900 plus 100? It is 1000. So the total cost price is 1000. Selling price of the table is 880 rupees. In this case CP is greater than SP. So we will have a loss. Formula to find the loss is cost price minus selling price. So loss is equal to 1000 minus 880. What do you get when you subtract 1000 minus 880? You borrow from 1, 10 hundreds will become 9 hundreds and then it will become 10 tens. 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1 and in thousands place it will be 0. So the difference that you get is rupees 120. Therefore, Alex incurred a loss of rupees 120. The next topic that we are going to see is how to find out the selling price if the cost price and the profit or the loss is given. These are the two formulas that we know. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price and loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. Suppose if the cost price and profit are given, then selling price will be equal to cost price plus profit. If the cost price and loss are given, then selling price will be equal to cost price minus loss. 
dear viewers remember these two formulas very well because this formula is derived from this formula and this formula is again derived from this formula so it is very important to remember the formula for profit and loss now let us do some sums sheila bought a sari for rupees 2550 and sold it at a profit of rupees 400 what was the selling price of the sari write down the statements cost price of the sari is rupees 2550 The profit that she gets by selling the sari is rupees four hundred. So in this case, cost price and profit are given. So selling price will be equal to cost price plus profit. So two thousand five hundred fifty plus four hundred will give you the profit. What is the answer that you will get when you add two thousand five hundred fifty plus four hundred? It is two thousand nine hundred fifty. So the answer is. The selling price of the sari is two thousand nine hundred fifty. Let us do another sum. Sheila bought another sari for rupees two thousand five hundred fifty and sold it at a loss of rupees four hundred. What was the selling price of the sari? Write down the statements. Cost price of the sari is rupees two thousand five hundred fifty. Loss that she got by selling that sari is rupees four hundred. Here, cost price and loss are given. So the formula for selling price will be cost price minus loss. So two thousand five hundred fifty minus four hundred. How will you subtract? One's place is zero. Five and ten's place one and hundred's place and two and thousand's place. So the difference is two thousand one hundred fifty. So the selling price of the sari is rupees two thousand one hundred fifty. Next, we are going to see how to find the cost price if the selling price and profit or the selling price and loss is given. First, let us write down the formula to find out the cost price. These are the two formulas that we already know. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price, and loss is cost price minus selling price. If selling price and profit are given, cost price is equal to selling price minus profit. If selling price and loss are given, cost price is equal to selling price plus loss it is again very important to remember the formula for profit and loss to arrive at the formula for cost price when the selling price and profit or the selling price and loss is given let us do this sum now ravi sold his camera for rupees 25000 and made a profit of rupees 2575 at what price did he buy the camera so we have to find out the cost price first write down the statements given selling price of the camera and profit so to find out cost price we have to subtract selling price minus profit so 25000 minus 2575 what is the answer that you get when you subtract 25000 minus 2575 it is 22425 so the cost price of the camera is 22425 The next sum that we are going to see is Ravi sold his camera for rupees twenty five thousand and lost rupees two thousand five hundred seventy five on it. At what price did he buy the camera? Write down the statements and here we see that the selling price of the camera and loss is given. So cost price is selling price plus loss. So what is that when you get when you add twenty five thousand plus two thousand five hundred seventy five? It is twenty seven thousand five hundred seventy five. So The cost price of the camera is twenty seven thousand five hundred seventy five. Next, we are quickly going to see what are all the important formulas we learnt. These are all the important formulas with respect to profit and loss. If required, dear viewers, please take a screenshot of this and keep, as it will help you to guide the children to do the problems. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome and class five under the topic subtraction. Of which the first topic, large number subtraction with regrouping, checking subtraction by addition, are covered in separate videos. In this video, we saw profit and loss. In upcoming videos, we will be seeing story sums, mental math, and subtraction worksheets. All the topics will be dealt with in separate videos, and links to all related videos will be given below in the description box. You may also click on the in-screen video, which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for class five subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.